Hello everyone and a very warm welcome. In today's demo, we are going to go ahead and automate the process of archiving InfoPath forms to PDF using Power Automate. We all know that Microsoft has announced the retirement of InfoPath. And in the next 10 minutes, we are going to go ahead and create a solution which will go ahead and archive your forms to PDF. My name is Clavin and I work as a technical consultant. I'm a blogger, so you can find all my blogs at clavinfernandez.wordpress.com. You can follow me on Twitter at Clavin Fernandez. You can also ping me on LinkedIn. So without wasting any further time, let's go ahead and see our use case. So let's consider you have a form library in which you have tons or you can say hundreds of InfoPath forms. You need to go ahead and convert them into a PDF. If you look at my screen, I have got five, but it can be hundreds of forms. The converted forms should be stored in a different document library or in a different data source. For this demo, we'll store it in the archived InfoPath files document library. To go ahead and create the solution, let's get to the Power Automate portal and let's go ahead and click on Create. We'll go ahead and start the flow manually because it's going to be a one-time activity. Now, we need to understand that InfoPath files consist of two parts. One is the XML that you see on your screen and the other part is the XSN or you can say the template file. To convert any form to PDF, you need to go ahead and get the XSN template file. Now the question might come to your mind, where is the InfoPath XSN template file? I don't see it out here. It's there in a hidden folder. And we are going to get the file content of that XSN file from the hidden folder. So the action that I'm going to use is get file content using path. I'll reference my site collection. I'll go ahead and click on the folder icon. I'll go into the InfoPath conversions demo folder. In the folder there's a forms folder and if you see it's a hidden folder it's not visible out here but Power Automate exposes it so I'll get into the forms folder and I'll select template.xsn. I'll also rename the action such that I know that it is getting the XSN. So get XSN. Now what next? I need to get the files within the folder. I need to get all the files within the folder, right? So I'll again click on new step. I'll type in SharePoint and I'll type in get files. So the get files properties only action will go ahead and return all the files within the folder. So I have put in the site address. Now let's select the library, but oh, something is missing, right? Our InfoPath conversions demo library is not visible out here. So don't worry, the w it's quite simple. It's just not visible, but it's there. We know that it's there because we see it in SharePoint. So I'll quickly select and I'll click right click and I'll copy. I'll go back to my Power Automate and I'll say enter custom value and put in this custom value. Make sure that you don't have white spaces in the start or the end or else it will not return you the values. Now what next? I need to go ahead and loop through all the files. How will I loop through? I need to use the apply to each loop. So I'll use the apply to each loop and I'll go ahead and pass in the values. The values is the output of the get file properties action. Now I have the files, I have the XSN but I still need to get the XML file data, right? So to get that I'll go ahead and type in SharePoint. and I'll say get file content. I'll put in my library 
and I'll go ahead and put in the identifier so I can just type in identifier the identifier is the output of the get file section so I have passed in the identifier now I'll just rename the action such that we have our flow or our power automate well structured so I'll put in XML data perfect what next next I need to use the Mohimbi action and I'm going to go ahead and convert the files or the documents to PDF so the file the source file name the source file name can be found in the get files action because it has all the files that we need so get file names with extension the source file content the source file content is the XML content so I'll pass in get file content XML data out here next the template file content the template file content is the file content of the XSN data so I'll pass in get file content using path XSN data next I'll go ahead and create the file so I'll use the SharePoint action and I'll say create file I'll create the file in the same site you can go ahead and store it anywhere into your Dropbox into your box folder into your OneDrive OneDrive for business but for this demo we'll keep it simple then we'll go ahead and select the folder where we want to write the files so I want to write the files in archive infopath files next I need to go ahead and give the file names the file names should match so I'll say I'll use the base file name which is the output of the convert action and I need to append .pdf to it next I'll go ahead and pass in the processed file content I'll give my power automate a name so I'll say archive infopath demo and I'll save it and that's pretty much it let's go ahead and quickly run it I'll go ahead and manually trigger it and I'll click on continue and I'll say run the flow so let's wait for around few seconds we don't have many files if you have tons of files then it might take a little bit of time or you can just set it out on a weekend and the archive will, will go through just fine so let's just wait I see one form has already arrived so it's doing it that's good let's go ahead and see the three forms have arrived now as we talk and I think within few seconds we should have all the five forms out here and it's done so let's go back and see we have all the five forms let's open any one of them and we have the infopath form exported now let's go back and quickly recap I used the manual trigger the first step that I did is I went ahead and get the got the XSN file content from the hidden folder that is the forms folder which is there in the infopath forms library I got all the files remember the library name was not available in the drop down so I needed to enter the custom value because it's a form library I added an apply to each loop I used the values because it can go ahead and get me all the values next I went ahead and used the get file content and got the XML data I used the convert action passed in the file name with extension which is the output of the get files action next I went ahead and passed in the source file content which is the XML data the action above it and then I went ahead and used get file content the output of the get file content using path XSN action which we used up here finally we created the file we used the base file name appended .pdf to it and then we also passed it the file content as a processed file content and that's pretty much it so I hope this demo was informative 
Thank you for listening and happy converting. Bye-bye for now.